We're in Miss Waddell's second grade class and this is a typical uh, second grade classroom. Uh, we look at second grade as that, tr that critical transition um, piece for us when we talk about language and literacy because they've spent time in kindergarten, kindergarten learning the sounds, spelling the way they hear and then it, trans it, it kind of moves to first grade. When we get to second, we're ready to, trans uh, to do that transition from what you hear to actually what the sounds do when they blend together. So here is a very critical time for second grade because they are really getting them to be fluent readers. So it's beyond the calling of the words, but now we want to deal with the fluency of reading and piggybacking on that comprehension. So second grade is a very uh, critical place for that language and literacy development because now they're getting ready to move into third grade. So her work um, kind of transition, gets them ready for the transition. Her kids own this classroom. They really own the classroom. They are considered as citizens and not tourists in here. And they will tell you if you come and do something off task in here, that's that we don't do that in our classrooms. Miss Waddell is very um, what we call centered. Um, she's into centers, so a lot of her centers are based around her reading, um, reading strategies over here. She has her uh, computer uh, center over here, and the children work independently, and she always has a focus group that she's working on. This second grade team really works together. They plan together. So what you see in here, you'll see in all the second grade classes. This is Dunbar's 21st Century Lab. It's our Mac lab. It holds the, all of the latest technology is in this lab. We have the touchscreen um, computers, we have the Kindles, we have iPads, we have iPods, and the students are scheduled into this lab. It's our third through fifth grade first, and I have a person that mans this lab, our instructional technology person mans this lab, and the students come in here and they do anything from this is time to have fun or they're fulfilling an assignment that their teacher wants them to do, but it's exposing them to what, what's out there. So um, this lab, we're very, very proud of this lab. Um, we also have an additional lab, which is our Windows lab, and it's on the other side near our cafeteria. It houses about 30 to 40 computers as well. So the students are fully immersed into this technology uh, age. The fact that Dunbar is the only school in the Atlanta public school system that has an early learning center attached to it is phenomenal. We're big on the 21st century and technology and big on building those high performing teams, those teachers who are critical to the process when we talk about educating kids.